Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my 2018-2019 ninth grade homeschool picks with you guys. We have a great lineup this year. I'm really excited about class, so let's just jump right in and get started. I quickly did want to mention our calendar. So I typically follow a traditional school year calendar with summers off. So we will be starting school August 20th. We will be ending school in May 20th, 2019. In Colorado, we have to do 172 days per year. And so that is kind of what works out for us. I take two days off for Thanksgiving, three weeks off for Christmas, December 17th through January 4th will be Christmas winter break. And then I'm also taking a March, which is uh, March 18th through the 22nd for a spring break. And that one can kind of fluctuate based on our weather. We still get a lot of snow here in Colorado, so sometimes I will move that based on you know what we have going on. But that's our basic schedule, 172 days, and we're starting in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna start off with our options schedule for Sam. He's my ninth grader this year, first year in high school. And we we do once a week program options program through our local school district they go there they do a bunch of elective classes stuff I might not do at home or that's more fun to do in a group and then that gives me a day off here as well which is really nice and so for this year he's going to be taking PE which he loves computer science which he loves they do some programming and game programming lots of fun things there he's taking drawing mainly because he had to he doesn't like drawing but that was sort of the only option for that class He's taking a general music class, which can include uh, instruments, guitar, things like that. And then he's doing a CSI Mythbusters class, which I think will also be a lot of fun. He's really excited about that one. Okay, so that means we're doing all the core stuff at home, basically. So let's get into that. So his first thing that he's going to be doing this year is this plan. It's the One God, One Plan, One Life. And if you followed me last year, uh, they didn't make it all the way through this book. So these are just daily devotions by Max Lucado. They aren't super deep or anything, just quite sure. Uh, they get him in the word, a little bit of a um, thought provoking kind of message, and then a little prayer. Um, and so that he's going to be using that. I'm also looking into the Summit Bible curriculum. I will put a link for that below as well. Um, and I haven't decided on that one yet. I believe it's about $100 per for one student. And then I think it's maybe 20 or $30 every time you add another student. Um, and so it's more of an app based. They go on, they have reading and things like that. It's a little bit deeper uh, kind of Bible study curriculum. This is really just a pretty quick and short uh, daily devotion. And I have them do this anyway. So I'll let you know if I do the other one, I'll put a link below for it either way. Um, but that's what he'll be doing for Bible. Okay. For science this year, and because he is in high school, um, and we did rainbow science last year, but this year I wanted to do something that I didn't have to quite be so hands-on. Uh, my fourth grader is gonna need me quite a bit this year, and so for him I chose BJU Press Distance Online Learning, and so he is going to be doing this physical science. And the distance online learning is really cool. You can do e-textbooks, which save you a little bit of money, or you can get the printed versions, which I kind of like to do. I'll have other kids going through this, so for me it's sort of worth it to buy the books. But they watch a DVD video, or not DVD, online. You can do DVD or streaming. I choose the streaming because my DVD players are not working anymore, and honestly streaming is just easier for us. Um, but they have online grading, um, they have the online video they watch, and then they have these books. And so this is like a student, um, lab manual for him. So this does count as high school lab credit, which is nice. Colorful book, um, I think it makes it a little bit more fun. He also has these uh, handouts, student handouts. Um, these are like uh, study guides and uh, worksheets and things like that. And then he also gets this, which we both use. And this is actually just a schedule. Here, I'll show you the back. It kind of looks like this. So it tells you basically what you're doing each day, which I think is kind of nice. And so we can just kind of keep this handy um, for his planning. And then there's this, which is the student textbook. Again, full color, really nice and pretty. And I might do um, a more formal review of this after we've gone through it, because we've never used it before. But we have used the BJU Distance Online Learning History, and I was really happy with that. And so I'm hoping that the science will be uh, just as good. So anyways, that's what he will be doing for ninth grade science. So for history, he's gonna be doing the same BJU Distance Online Learning History that Haley did last year. Um, I forgot to show you this for the other one, but it does come with this little getting started manual and shows you how to do everything. So that's kind of handy if you're new to it. But he is going to be doing the cultural geography. And again, it comes with the student activity book, uh, the textbook, and the student handouts. And I do have 
a full review for this curriculum as well. I'll link it below and then it comes again with the schedule which is really nice. So he'll be doing that for history and I think having those two things kind of off my plate gives him a little bit more independence and he does video lessons which I think are nice. The other thing I like about the BJU lessons is that it's a person talking to your student kind of like I'm talking to you now rather than some of the other online ones I've seen where there's a teacher talking to a class and then your student's kind of an outsider to that and I don't really like those as much so I really am liking the BJU distance online learning classes. So that's what he will be doing for history. Okay, moving on to writing. For writing this year, he is going to be doing one of the theme-based writing units. This is volume two, Aslan's Country, and this is the following Narnia series from IEW, Institute for Excellence in Writing. And I really like these theme-based units. Last year we did a history one that kind of went with the history he was doing, but I decided to let them do kind of a more fun one this year. And this is the one that he picked out. So you do need the teacher's manual and student workbook for these. Uh, I really enjoy them quite a bit. They have daily lessons. Um, I use them four days per week, which is kind of how they're set up anyway, so that kind of makes it um, nice. We do the lesson on day one, and I'll kind of show you. Here's the student workbook. They have a lesson on day one, and then days two through four, they have kind of a writing assignment. And so I kind of give my kids the freedom to they either do it all in the first day or they can kind of spread it out through the week and turn it in um, at the end of the week. It's kind of up to them. My kids usually just get it out of the way first thing and turn their work in right away and then they have the rest of the week off, which is fine. Um, I will also be doing a review of these once we get into them a little bit farther uh, just to kind of give you more of a uh, viewpoint of what they actually look like, but that's what he'll be doing for writing. All right, for grammar, English grammar, he is going to be using the IEW, Institute for Excellence in Writing, Fix-It Grammar. And he's doing book four, which is The Little Mermaid. My other daughter is doing it with him, and so I just it was easier for them to be doing the same one. I'm not sure he's gonna be thrilled with this, but we'll see. So far, he hasn't minded uh, doing any of these. And I do have a full review for Fix-It Grammar on my uh, YouTube channel, my website. You can look that up. It's really fun. It does not take very long. It's uh, more enjoyable, I think, than most traditional English grammar curriculums and so I'm definitely a huge fan of this uh, and as far as I can tell it's working great their uh, annual test scores are really good with these they do vocabulary all of the uh, nouns verbs adjectives all those kinds of things as well and they're writing a continual story all year long so instead of random sentences they're writing their way through a book which I think is really kind of cool so that is what he will be doing for English grammar this year and then for math we are moving on to geometry, and we use Matthew C. Geometry. So he will be watching a DVD lesson on Monday, and then that day he does a worksheet, and then the rest of the week he does uh, his work. So this is the test booklet that it comes with. It also comes with a teacher's manual. I don't really use the teacher's manual that much. If I have any questions, I usually refer back to the DVD and just have uh, Mr. Joseph here re-explain things to me, and so far that's worked quite well but I do use it for the answer key in the back, so I use this to grade their work on a daily basis. And then here is his actual workbook of worksheets. And these, I do have reviews for these as well on my channel. You can check them out. Um, there are uh, worksheets A through H, I think, for every week. So there are some extra worksheets. The H are honors worksheets, um, and I actually like to throw those in here and there because they have different style of questions, uh, but otherwise you can have, we do math four days a week because they do the options program once, so he will do worksheets A through D, and then I have him do a test. So he does a worksheet and a test on Thursday for us. So anyways, so far it's working out great. I love Matthew C. We have been using them uh, since really the very beginning, and can't complain at all. My only comment with them is they sometimes can lack in the review department because they are a mastery program, so each year is kind of focusing heavily on one skill. Uh, so some of the other skills can slip just a little bit, and so all I do to combat that is just download free five-minute math worksheet, uh, drill worksheets, and we just kind of throw them in randomly throughout the year just to kind of freshen up the skills, but then they're still working towards mastery for whatever skill they're working on that year. and. Those skills are also sprinkled in here as well because you can't really do division without knowing your multiplication facts and things like that. But just uh, just sprinkling those worksheets in in a more direct format I think works really well for us. So 
Matthew C, he is on geometry this year. Next thing he's gonna be doing is world language this year, so he will be doing Spanish one, and I don't have it yet, it's on order, but I'll put a picture right here. He is gonna be using the BJU Distance Online Learning for Spanish one. It's a video lesson with a textbook, kind of same as the others, and then he's also gonna be watching the Destinos videos. They are free online Spanish videos. They have subtitles, uh, help with words, and they are sort of a lesson in and of themselves. And so I'm gonna combine the two of them. From what I understand, the Destinos videos are really good for the conversational piece of Spanish and just helping them you know, with listening and uh, speaking and things like that. But I also kind of wanted to have a video lesson as well. It just made me feel a little more comfortable because I've had high school Spanish, but I'm definitely not fluent. And so I didn't feel like I could effectively teach that course myself. Um, and it is a requirement for most high school students I uh, have to do two years of a foreign language so that will that's what he'll be doing for Spanish once I get the curriculum and we go through it a little bit I'll do more of a formal review for you guys and then lastly for him I am he uh, still needs a little bit of help in the spelling arena plus I just love these this is spelling you see he will be on level G which is their highest level uh, right now anyway I don't know if they're planning on creating any more usually once you hit eighth grade you're not or ninth grade you're not doing spelling specifically anymore um, but he still needs a little bit of work with it and one thing that I really love about these there's part one and part two that they come with and um, the stories and information in here I have found to be just so much fun and uh, I really love just the fact that my kids are repeating these stories and so they have all this random side knowledge that I didn't really teach them but they got them out of these books and they're all different um, uh, themes so this one is modern milestones and then they also have history themes and you know famous inventors and things like that depending on what level you're on so I think they're really fun and um, I'm just gonna it's the last series uh, that they have and so I'm just gonna make him finish out the series and then and he'll be done with that. So those are my picks for 2018, 2019 for my ninth grader. I will leave links for everything that I mentioned below. If you have any questions, you're always welcome to send me an email or leave a comment below and I will answer. Um, but that is what we are gonna be using this year. I'm pretty excited about the lineup. I think that everything is gonna be working out really well, especially since he's in high school. I'm really looking forward to some of those online um, classes for him as well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.